In other news for you right now, it's day four in the search to find a missing mother from South Windsor. Investigators say Jessica Edwards family reported her missing earlier this week. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Shante Passmore spent the day today talking with her loved one, Shante. Uh, police also spoke about the case not too long ago. Well, Mark, this moment from police was really about asking for people's help to narrow down the search. So far, investigators have looked in the area of where she lives, but beyond that, the trail has really just gone cold and her whereabouts haven't been seen on surveillance. And so they are encouraging people to come forward with any information. But meanwhile, we are learning that Jessica Edwards family and friends, they're holding their own search parties in multiple towns, especially in places like East Hartford near the riverfront because she likes to go there. Police say her family last saw her Mother's Day, but reported her missing Monday morning. We're told she messaged her professor to say she would not be in clinical training. Police say she left her vehicle behind and her phone is off. The mother is described as being 5'3 and weighing around 150 pounds. We just learned she married recently and is a new mom. Investigators say there's no indication there's foul play, but they're following every lead. Police made two pleas today for the public's help and a personal message. Message. Meanwhile, loved ones say they just want Edwards home. And to Jessica, if you're watching, please contact us and let us know you're okay. It's just difficult. I mean, I love my sister. She's you know, such a caring person, you know, friendly, warm. Um, she'll give it a shirt right off her back. That's how she stepped her. She was life for the party. You know, I, I can't do anything here. I should always here. So heartbreaking and family also say that Edwards was expected to graduate soon. She even bought matching caps and gowns for her and her baby so they could celebrate together. They say there is no way that she would have left her child behind. But we are learning there is another search party being held by loved ones and friends tomorrow. We'll have that information on the Channel 3 app. Live in South Windsor tonight, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.